Hey there guys, Rex here and welcome to Season 2 of the Schalke Career Mod here on FIFA 16. Last season, of course, we finished second in the Bundesliga, qualifying for Champions League this season, which is a very good... We also won the German Cup, which I'm very happy with. Unfortunately, we didn't do too well in the Europa League, but that's okay, that's behind us. We're just gonna do very well in the Champions League this season instead. So... This first episode will probably be a lot of transfer business, probably no real matches yet, but uh, let's get into my squad now. I'm pretty happy with my first team that I have uh, assembled here, except I think I want to shore up my defense a little bit, maybe bring in a stronger center back and possibly a stronger right back. Um, then if we look at the bench, you know, I do want to bring in some extra backup players. Um, maybe bring in a better right midfielder backup than Clemens or Schupf. Um, maybe some extra midfield solidity, possibly. Uh, we'll have to see. And possibly some better uh, defensive backups as well. Okay, here's something weird. Hubbard Nordfeid. We definitely brought him in on a pre-contract, but here it says he's at Augsburg? That is really weird. I literally just got the email that he arrived on a pre-contract and now he's not at my team. EA really needs to fix this glitch, but I guess we're gonna have to find a better center mid replacement too because I was counting on Nordfight to come in there and apparently he can't. See, this is really weird. Nordfight is in my list of my players right over here. He's in there, yet when I click on him, it says he's at Augsburg. This is so weird. We can pay to have him released from contract, but uh, it's just it's just really stupid that this stuff can happen. Okay, for my shirt list. First of all, for right backs, I was thinking of maybe bringing in Siemens Coleman. He looks really, really good from Everton. Uh, or possibly Mario Fernandes. We were in for him last season, but he was a bit too expensive. Maybe now we can go in for him. So I want to go in for one of these two. Let's just see. They will probably be very expensive though. Yeah, it's going to look like that's going to cost us most of our budget. Let's see if we can offer maybe a player. I wouldn't need Kaysera anymore, so I'm going to offer 10 million in Kaysera to Coleman. And we'll start with 6 million in Kaysera for Mario Fernandez. For the center back position, there was one player that really jumped out to me, and that's Samuel Umtiti. He's 22, 81 overall, so he would pretty much go into my first team straight away, and he just looks very good overall. So I think I want to maybe try going in for him. He would be very expensive though, so I think I'd have to offer one of my current center backs. Um, I think I want to keep Hoedis and Nasus each. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and offer Matip. He hasn't really been living up to his potential for me. I think a straight swap Matip for Mtiti would uh, make me happy at least. And uh, I feel that would strengthen my squad. Finally, the last defensive improvement I want to make is my left back backup. I'm very happy with Hector as a starter, but Kolasinac never really did it for me. So what I think I'm going to do is actually go ahead and offer a straight swap. Uh, bring in, bring out Kolasinac and bring in Nathan Ake from Chelsea. I think that should be a good deal. Finally, we have three more players for the midfield. Now, actually, Leicester City relegated. Yeah, they won the league in real life, but in the game, they actually relegated this first season. So I was thinking, you know what? Maybe, maybe I should try to go in for Kante or Mares. You know, Kante would give that extra solidity to our midfield. Mares would be a very good player for uh, the right wing, you know, to be a backup to Sané, sometimes play as a starter too. And uh, Labiat would be an alternative backup. Now, I am still scouting all of them, so I'm not going to make any bids on them quite yet, but uh, they are players that I'm looking at too. Now, one more thing I should do is actually take a look at the contracts of the players that are expiring. We have a couple there, actually. Most importantly, Chupo Mo thing here. I do want to keep him. He will be a bit expensive to keep, but... I think he is uh, good enough to stay longer in the team as a backup, so I'm going to offer him a new deal. Um, Kolasinac, he's probably going to leave, so I'm not going to offer him a new contract right now. Huntelaar, I'm, I think I'm going to just keep him for the season 
and then uh, at in the next summer you know if we play a third season then I probably wouldn't use Huntler anymore so it's fine if he leaves on a free at the end of the season Clemens I'm not sure yet if I want to keep so I'm not going to offer him a new deal yet Ihan though I do want to offer a new deal he does look like a talented uh, center back and uh, I will be uh, using him every now and then so we're going to offer him a new deal and Velleroyter he's currently third choice keeper I'm not too worried about offering him a new deal right now we got a transfer over here for Doom I'm literally never using him so he can move on Okay, we got some emails back. First of all, Ihan and Moting have accepted their new contract, so that is very good. It also seems like Olympic Lyon is okay with swapping Matip for Umtiti. So let's see, he wants to be 90k. I'm okay with that. Uh, you can be a crucial first team player. And uh, let's see if we can bring Umtiti into the club. Next up, they are... Chelsea isn't interested in a swap with Kolasinac. That is unfortunately bad news. Uh, this isn't too high priority, so I'm going to just leave this for a little bit. If we have some cash over, I might try to just buy Ake outright and then sell Kolasinac. But for now, we'll leave the Ake deal for a bit. Everton is interested in Kaysera, but they want more money along with him. I'm going to increase it to 15 million in Kaysera and hopefully they'll go for that. We got a transfer over here for Ruben Neves. I don't really feel like selling him right now, so I'll just reject this offer. Maybe if like a super rich club comes in with a huge offer, we can think about it, but not to West Brom. We got a transfer over here for Roman Neustadter. I'm not using him anymore. Ihan can come in as a new fourth choice center back anyway, so we'll just accept it. Three million seems like a fair price. It also looks like Sasha Doom has indeed been sold, so that's good, and we have They've reviewed it. They want more money. More than 6 million. Let's go up to 9 million in Kaysera. See if they'll go for that. Alright, we have our first match of the friendly tournament at home against Betis. Let's just uh, skip this simulation. There we go. 3 0 win, 2 goals by Voland, and 1 goal by Goretzka. And Umtiti has accepted this contract, so let's bring him in. It just cost us 10k because he was on slightly higher wages than Mati, but that's okay. That's a really good deal, in my opinion. And Everton actually accepted our offer for Coleman, so we can bring him in three years, 120k. That's a lot of money, but uh, let's see if he'll go for it. And Neustadter has been sold now, and CSKA Moscow have accepted our offer too. So uh, if we can't get Coleman, then we can at least bring in Mario Fernandez. He would be good too, so let's uh, offer him a deal too. Next match of the Friendly Cup is away to Crystal Palace, and... Another 3-0 win, this time goals by Kaysera, Clemens and Folland. It looks like Fernandez accepted the contract, but Coleman declined. I don't really want to go higher than what he's already asking for, so I think I'm just going to go in for, for Mario Fernandez. He looks very good, he was a bit cheaper too, and that gives us a bit more money to play around with for some midfield improvements. So Mario Fernandez will be our new starting right back. And the next friendly match is at home against Marseille, and a 2-0 win, 2 goals by Hesse. Very good results so far. Now we haven't gotten their full ratings back, but we can see how much they will roughly cost. So I think I'm going to start making some offers. First of all, let's go in for Riyad Mahrez. He will cost around 15 million. Um, actually, I think since we're not going to use Clemens anymore or Shop, I should offer at least one of them. I think Clemens would probably be the best. Uh, yeah, so I'll offer... Uh, Clemens and let's say 8 million. Conte looks a lot more expensive. Going to be around 20 million if we want to bring him in. Uh, I'm just going to go in with slightly above his worth. 18 million straight away and see what they say. We got a transfer over here for Ralf Farman, and this is very tempting. There were times where I was just not really happy with him. And if we could get like 40 million out of Farman, I think that would be a good deal. Uh, so, you know what? I, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to ask for 40 million. If they pay that much, we could probably get in a better goalkeeper anyway. So, let's do this. Okay, Leicester rejected both of our offers. They want 33 million for Kante and they want 20 million and claimants for Mares. Those are both ridiculously expensive. I'm going to throw 20 million and Kolasinac their way for Kante. And for Mares, I'll increase my bid to 12 million in claimants. Next international cup matches against Sofia and 
A 3-0 win again. Hesse does pick up a knock though. That's not good to see. Hopefully he won't be out for too long. A broken ankle and out for 7 weeks. That's kind of bad. But we'll just have to deal with it. I don't think I'm going to bring in a new left winger for this. But yeah, that's not good news at the start of the season. Uh, we also get an offer for Dragowski. No, I definitely want to keep Dragowski. He is a good keeper. I'm happy with him. And an offer for Nastasic. Now this is tempting, but I do think I want to keep Nastasic. Uh, so I'll just reject it. Doing a little bit of training now. And Ion has gone up to 74 overall. Okay, we got to notice here that Lesser have received a 70 million bid for Mares, so we might be too late in getting Mares. Maybe I should switch to my backup target uh, instead. My backup target being Labiat, he is a lot cheaper, his contract is also running out. I think actually if we offer them a shop here and throw in like 2 million to sweeten the deal, we should already be able to get him in. And I think he would be a very decent backup player for me already. Leicester weren't interested in Kolasinac. I'm actually going to go ahead and offer them straight up 24 million. And I think that should be enough for a player like Kante. Now the International Cup match against Zenit. And we lose 2-1. That's a shame, but hey. You can't win them all. We got a transfer offer here for Felix Schreuter. I'm never using him, so I'm just going to accept that straight away. And we also got another offer for Nassasic. I think actually... If, if people want to pay like 28 million, then I'm okay with him going. I think I can bring a, in a better center back for that kind of money. We got an offer in for Hodes. I don't think I want to sell Hodes. He is a captain of this team. And I think that, you know, I don't want to change the Schalke side too much. So I'm going to keep Hodes at the club. Leicester City have accepted our offer for Angolo Conte. So that's very good. Uh, let's see if we can offer him enough cash. He wants like... 110k I'm gonna go a little bit under that 100k we are in a better league so hopefully he'll still sign this Sporting rejected it because they weren't interested in the player I'm just gonna offer straight up 4 million then for him instead we got a transfer offer for Folland but I don't want to sell him he's my starting striker I've enjo been enjoying him a lot so I'm gonna just reject all offers and it looks like Newcastle has accepted our price of 28 million for Nastasic so we should probably look for a new center back then for that kind of money. And I have just the guy, Alexander Dragovic. We can get him in for like 11 million or something, like half what we pay for what we're getting for Nastasic, and he would be a perfect replacement. So let's bring him in. And Schroeder has been sold. Okay, Monaco accepted the 40 million for Farman, so he's gonna go off. Unfortunately, Kante did decline. He loves living there and doesn't want to relocate. Uh, I'm just going to offer him his full 110k then. Crucial first team player and maybe he'll sign that. And in my search for keepers, I actually came to two different Gladbach keepers. Jan Sommer and Loris Karius. I think either of them would be a good replacement. So let's go ahead and see how much they would cost us. Ooh, you would be quite expensive, but 25 million. We'll start with that. Gaius looks like he might be a bit cheaper. I'm going to start with an 18 million bid. Sporting accepted our bid for Labiat, so I'm going to bring him in four years as a squad rotation player. Hopefully he'll sign that. Nastasic has been sold now, but Bilbao accepted our offer of 11 million, so we can just straight away bring in uh, Dragovic instead. I'm going to start with a squad rotation player. If he doesn't sign that, we'll go up to important first team player. Okay, the deal with Farman has gone through, so uh, we have an extra 34 million. Uh, our bid for Summer went on, but Karius they want a lot more money for, so we'll just go in with for Summer instead. He does want a lot of wages, though. Uh, let's actually see if he'll go for a slight increase, but otherwise we're going to have to offer him a bit more. Kante accepted his new contract, so we're going to bring Kante into the team now. Labiat declined saying he ideally doesn't want to leave. I think it's probably just that he wants to be a first team player. So even though he's not ready, I'm going to offer him his deal. He should play enough matches anyway. I figured as much, but Dragovic rejected his offer wanting a bigger role. So we're going to offer him first team player instead. Labiat has also accepted this new contract. So we have our new right mid backup in as well now. And we have a transfer for Nubel. I'm never going to use him. So I'll just accept this straight away. Summer does want 160k a week. I'm not sure if he's worth this, so we're going to offer him the contract, but I'm not sure if I'm going to accept him if he does want to go through with this. I'm, 
I'm still thinking about maybe just using Dragowski for the season. Also, I'm gonna go in for Akino, just pay straight up cash, starting with a 4.5 million bid. Dragowski still declined, I'm gonna offer him 110k instead, as 3 years, important first team player. Good news, Chelsea accepted our bid for Nathan Ake, so I'm gonna put him in 4 years as a squad rotation player, and if he accepts this, we'll sell on Kolasinac. Dragowski wants some more wages, let's take a look at his new contract then. While well, he was still on 25k a week, I'm gonna put him up to 50k a week as a squad rotation player, just in case we do bring in a new goalkeeper. We got an offer here for Goretzka, I'm not planning on selling Goretzka, so reject all offers. I've decided to go ahead and accept Jan Sommer, we don't really need the money for anything else anyway, and I think he would improve our team. If an injury happens to Dragowski, then we would be really screwed without him. So I think this is a good idea anyway. He can be the starter in like the Champions League matches and the big matches and Dragowski can play pretty much everything else. Nubel has been sold now and Drago Dragovic has accepted his contract so we can bring him in too. Nathan Ake has accepted his contract so we're bringing him into the team also. And it looks like Dragowski has accepted his new contract offer. So that's good news too. We got a transfer over for Leroy Sané. We could sell him for a lot of cash, but there's no way I'm letting Sané go. And there we go. The season is now about to start. We are still in the transfer window, so we could potentially still do some business. But here's the business that we have done. Norfight, of course, he didn't actually join. It's bugged out, so that's kind of stupid. But uh, yeah... I don't know what to do with that. We'll just leave it. But we brought in Fernandez as our new right back. Umtiti as our new center back. Ake as our new backup left back. Kante vying for that central midfield role together with Goretzka and Geis. Labiat as our new backup right midfielder. Draga Dragovic as our new center back backup. And Sommer as our new starting goalkeeper. And we moved on Doom, Neustadter, Farman, Schreuter, Nassasic and Nubel. That's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to start off the Bundesliga season and as finish off the transfer window. So if you don't want to miss that, then do subscribe to my channel down below. And while you are down there, leave a thumbs up on this video. And I'll see you all next time.